Today we're going to look at creating a campaign in detail. Click campaign then voice campaign at the top then click add. Set the campaign name or leave it as the default. Select the survey application you created previously. Set the caller ID number. This needs to be entered as your carrier expects it. Setting the caller name is optional and not supported by all carriers. If you have created a caller ID group, you can select it in preference to the caller ID number. Select the DNC list. No calls will be made to numbers on the DNC list and numbers will be added to this list from the DNC section in your survey. Select one or more phone books to use. Moving on to the dialer section, select the gateway, set the frequency which is the number of calls per minute that will be made, set the maximum concurrent calls allowed. Also set the number of agents you have available to receive calls. In simple mode, once all the agents are occupied then calls will stop until an agent becomes free. If you switch to power dialer mode, then the system will maintain a set number of calls calculated by multiplying the dial rate by the number of agents, but limited by the frequency in the maximum concurrent calls. When an agent receives a call, then the number of concurrent calls will reduce by the multiplier in the dial rate until all agents are occupied, then calls will stop until agents become free. Clicking retry exposes the settings for retry. By default, retries are set to zero, so the system will try once only. Setting retry to one means it will try once and retry once more if the first call fails. The time between retries is self-explanatory. Call completion allows you to call back people who do not respond to your survey. Ensure a section in your survey is configured as completed to use this feature. Voicemail detection can take different actions on whether the call is answered by a person or a machine. Switch it on then set the behaviour. Always Play message will play your survey to a person and to voicemail will play the voicemail audio file followed by any text in the text-to-speech field right after the beep. Ensure that the audio is long enough to get to the beep for the majority of greeting messages. Play message to human only will hang up on voicemail whereas leave message to voicemail only will hang up to a human. Now set the schedule when you want the call to go out. Time zone dialing will ensure that the call goes out according to the time zone of your contacts. Under extra you can set the maximum duration of the call, how long to ring for, SMS gateway, TTS language and whether to record the B-leg. Finally, save. Note the green tick against the campaign. If it's an orange exclamation mark, then check the schedule. Now click start, and shortly you will see live reporting of the calls in progress on the screen. Thank you for watching. Please contact us if you have any questions.